What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome to another Fire Mom Hero summoning video. Today I'm gonna be summoning on Emblem Ike's banner. I was expecting Emblem Lin because uh, they could have made her color share with Ledger and Camilla. But let's hope that I don't get Emblas and I can get Emblem Ike really easily. He's an amazing Omni tank, honestly, with all of that unpierceable damage reduction. Kinda hard for a lot of the free-to-play units uh, to take him. So when I was making the free-to-play guide, I had to use the Hardy Bearing Sacred Seal. So we are in Tellius with Tanit showing up. I wouldn't mind getting a 2 Nino actually from the Green Stone. I really wish that Severa was in the Red Stone instead of Embla. Then we would have a really, really good red color share, but Severa is probably gonna be there uh, next month. Wouldn't mind getting Safi either. She does have good fodder, and if I get another Safi, then I'm probably gonna be foddering her to my Mercedes. So that's that. And on the blue stone, I wouldn't mind getting Isadora as well because she does have the snack skill. Don't want to get Grandpa Myson, even though he did give me quite a bit of trouble in uh, <laughs> pulling him when he first appeared. Uh, two red stones in the same position, so maybe I could have. Nope, it's gonna be Skahawk. The emblem effect of Emblem Mike is not really too insane compared to Emblem Marth, I would say. Emblem Marth is just so universally useful. Like, so many units want minus on special cooldown, so I think he's a lot more, um, you know, must summon if there's anything like that. But Ike's effect is more useful for the tanks rather than being universally useful. But Ike is definitely going to be amazing for Ether Raid's offense for tanking. So let us begin with the questions that you guys have left. As always, if you want me to answer any kind of question in a summoning video, you can leave them in the comments with the hashtag question. The hashtag is very important so that I can find your questions. And the first question is by Mevi Small Sumner. As always, uh, excellent summoning session. I have yet another question for you. Now that we have attuned heroes, who do you want to see as an attuned hero? Thanks for answering my other questions in your previous summoning videos and may gacha gods give you good luck. Thank you so much for your question and your luck. Uh, so this could be the question of the day. Which hero you would like to see as an attuned hero? For me, I definitely would like to see Matilda. Um, Matilda really got done dirty by Faye. She didn't really get a good weapon refine or even any kind of good alt. So I would like to see a tuned Matilda. Matilda as a gold light. That would be pretty good. They could even have her as the overclass, I believe. I don't really remember the name of the overclass, but uh, the overclass of gold knight, basically. Uh, so that would be pretty nice. And that's one hero. I wish that she could get some kind of attuned uh, alt or even she could even get another alt in some kind of seasonal banner but being an attuned unit is amazing because I wouldn't really have to let her go from my barracks. It's so amazing for preserving the hero. A lot of the times you had to make the choice between if you want to use the hero or use their fodder but attuned and rearmed units don't really have that so I really enjoy it, especially with my free to play account. Otherwise, I would just have to fodder the units. So 15 summons in, not the best 5 star luck, but that's fine. I hope that the luck has been building up for the free to play account. Rebecca still doesn't have her bowstring fixed uh, in this art, which is <laughs> a bit annoying. But yeah, she got summoned as a plus attack unit, right? And not a lot of redstone so i'll probably have to spark emblem i get this rate prom showing up a lot of people did think that i could show up with like Irvine and be a green unit because there's just so many emblem heroes that use swords how many of them are going to be red so they will have to make that choice sooner or later <laughs> if they want to give the alternate weapons to these emblem heroes because a lot of them would just be red and we already have like two red emblem heroes and we're only down to two so <laughs> I really wonder um, if they're gonna be giving other weapons to like Lucina. Lin is definitely getting a bow alt that's for sure. After Faye, Lin just uses her bow all the time. <laughs> Even in the cutscenes and engage she just uses her bow. Um, so I was expecting green bow Lin. Ledger and Lin was <laughs> at such a odd time in Faye and I didn't really come out when Faye came out and a lot of people were expecting him to be 
a really really good unit but he didn't really end up being that good um even at that time but i think emblem ike is definitely doing all of the ike alts justice <laughs> in a way well brave ike was definitely pretty amazing with his weapon refine at the time and ether raids with uh brave lucina as his partner back then we just had so little choice for the support units nowadays we just have so many support units even like the free to play support units are insane the next question is by the real govika and they're asking which legend unit and non-legend unit went from zero to hero with their preferred and or refined so i would say the legend unit to go from zero to hero is definitely absolutely legend self because when he came out he wasn't really all that impressive and he just fell off so hard but then came his weapon refine gave him null counter disrupt in the refine it changed up a lot of things with the remix so i would overall say that he went from zero to hero and then for the non-legend units probably brave dimitri the flat damage reduction was absolutely insane and now uh brave dimitri can make use of lagu's friend which is available to any kind of infantry unit so even some mages can make use of lagu's friend i'm actually looking forward to uh, making the video for it because there's just so many units that can make use of the skill it's a lot more um usable than potent of emblem marth nowadays like they are getting making these emblem heroes and these inedible skills that they use the best but uh lagu's friend is such a good skill for so many units okay i'm gonna get tina here she does have good fodder so i don't really mind that too much this is gonna be plus resistance okay so the first focus unit of the banner and i'm gonna be continuing with the green stones hoping for maybe a legendary camilla a tunino is gonna be nice with the tempo four so hope i can get her in these 10 summons Exiluette, Sheena. Legendary Salif had an absolutely miserable time compared to a lot of the tanks. And honestly, I didn't expect such an insane refine for him. And I still use him quite a lot. He's easily one of the best Omni tanks. Uh, he doesn't really have an answer to the pre combat damage. I mean, no Omni tank does. But if he had some kind of flat damage reduction, that would be perfect. Like Emblem Ike's Ike Ring. Yeah, that is definitely a good fit for Selif, but he has to choose between either having no quarter with Emblem Marth's ring or choose between, uh, you know, the damage reduction that Emblem Ike can give. Honestly, I like Emblem Ike's effect a bit more on him because he can just outsource a lot of different special cooldown support like Rally Spectrum, the special charges status, um, and just make use of that. And there's also the drawback of uh, Emblem Mart's effect on the Brave Weapon users, but not so much with Ike. I really like the fact that Lagu's friend <laughs> makes you trade off your pierceable damage reduction by 50%. So instead of decreasing your avoid, that's pretty much dodge in Fey terms. So they just make it reduce your own pierceable damage reduction. But it does make a a bit of a tough choice for some of the units because they don't really want to let go of all of their pierceable damage reduction. They still want to have it. Like Saros, for exam example. She's one of those units um, where she has got so much damage reduction in her other things that she doesn't want to give up a lot of it. Okay, I'm going to get Violet here. She definitely needs a refine, but <laughs> it's really, really far away. Yeah, she definitely needs it. <laughs> I mean, the... Tempo, drive tempo effect is useful. Okay, I'm gonna get another Tina. Wow. Plus attack. On the way to Sparking Ike. I mean, yeah, the drive tempo is good, but it could have been better. Okay, this is definitely better. Another Tina. <laughs> Am I gonna get a fourth five star unit? Because I've never really pulled four five star units in a batch. Okay, never mind. <laughs> The most I've done is definitely three. So now I can just spark uh, Emblem I care on the main account. And then, okay. Almost got the circle. Uh, let's go with I. I always have uh, the fear that I'm gonna select the wrong units to spark and then I'm not gonna be able to change that. 
It did happen to me on the Young Banner last year where I accidentally spark a Young Hector instead of Young Mar. I still remember it. So Emblemike and there is Lagoo's friend with its restrictions. There is no weapon type restrictions. Even staff units can use this. <laughs> I definitely want to give this to Mercedes but I don't have extra Emblemike and uh, the thing with foddering off these emblem heroes is that you're not going to be able to merge them up. So that's uh, going to be coming at the cost of not having the stats. And this is the first time I've seen any kind of uh, rearmed unit on this kind of scale specific banner or uh, down to a battle banner. Remember, Ultra is just showing up casually. I mean, Citrine probably provides more value, honestly, with all of the things that she can copy. I'm gonna choose Fur. Unfortunately, she's not gonna be getting her rerun. In Forging Bonds, her badge lost. So for the people that were wanting to get an updated kit for Fur, they're not gonna be able to get that. Surprisingly, I've got a lot of Letizia on this account and <laughs> I'm pretty much mid-merged with her. At first, I was saving her fodder, but then I summoned so many copies that I was like, I should probably merge her up at this point. Uh, Alright, so from here, actually, I'm gonna try for the greenstone. Um, another Nino. Alright. So, not a lot of uh, five star units, but that's fine. Let's hope that I can uh, save that luck for the free to play count. Because emblems have not a lot of opportunity cost right now there's only two emblems and that's pretty much it so until we get a lot more emblems then it's gonna be a battle between them which one is better one but right now there's no cost if you get an emblem hero then you can easily use them on a lot of your teams it's definitely a hassle like i wish there was an easier way of equipping them um, for stuff like etherate's offense but you pretty much have to a save the skill set and then equip that and it is gonna be Dorcas okay I haven't really gotten a lot of copies of him over the years but that's gonna be merging him up plus attack okay and maybe I'm gonna be merging all of the other Dorcas into him this banner is left I'm definitely gonna be getting for my Edelgard uh, even on my free to play account because it's such a Awesome chance of getting Wings of Mercy 4 and also Attack Speed Wild on her. I really do not miss not using Heavy Blade on these kinds of units. Bullfighter was an amazing Sacred Seal, and there's that badge with no green stone. Of course. Okay, I'm not really summoning too much on the Hero Rise of Banner, but <laughs> still, this is <laughs> this is the worst case scenario, which haunts a lot of people. And now let's move on to my free to play count and see what's up with that. On the free to play count, I've got almost 400 free to play orbs saved up. So I've been saving up once again after summoning for uh, Peony's merges. And here uh, there are 381 of them. There's no middle row uh, for the paid orbs. So all of them are completely free to play. I was saving up for the hero rises, but then Camilla didn't really make it, which um, is a bit annoying. I was also wanting Ninja Sanaki, but... Oh wow, I'm gonna get Legend Female Lear on the free summon. <laughs> the free to play count, starting off with the luck. Um, <laughs> it hurt me complaining about Legend Camilla. Uh, plus resistance, minus HP. I mean, not like I'm gonna be running her with a scout skill, but I'll take that. I didn't really have her, um, but <laughs> yeah, that's, that's amazing. Uh, I would have liked Legend Camilla a lot more if that was the banner that I would have summoned. I was saving up for the hero rises, but at this point, I think I'm instead going to be trying to summon um, Emblem Ike and trying to get him because like I said, there's not a lot of opportunity cost right now. So from here, I would definitely want to get rearmed Rima. I've really pulled for her. Okay, Nina showing up. Good try for the other colorless stone, but I think I'm going to be fine. The next question is asking me, I hope you are well on your way to multiple Emblem Ike. Sorry if you have shared elsewhere, but I'm curious to know which each transformation you found the most fun to use in your playthrough. 
best wishes for summoning and hope you have a great session. Thank you so much for your comment. And uh, my favorite <laughs> fee transformation has to be the dashing thief one because the levels are so fun for it. All, like always there's something to do and Fall Nike is gonna be showing up with your comment. Uh, Ike definitely is wanting to show up. I hope his emblem version also shows up. Plus attack, uh, minus resistance. That's amazing. So yeah, Dashing Thief Peach is definitely my favorite transformation and the least favorite has to be the Mermaid Peach. I really did not like those levels. And also Ice Skater Peach. It's just uh, <laughs> not that fun. Dashing Thief Peach was amazing. The Persona crossover, no one expected. <laughs> the levels had such a, such a good feel. The game was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. So from here, I would definitely like to get uh, Duo Sanaki if I can get lucky. Nope, it is going to be Hinata. I mean, that's pretty good as far as the <laughs> three star four star summons go. Though on this account, I definitely want to get uh, Kane or Merlinus for the Wings of Mercy. Right now, we do have that in the in the limited ephemera manual, so that's good because I'm always running out of them. <laughs> All right, so from here, I think, yeah, I, I go for the blue stone because I had, I actually had a spring Narcine, but I killed him to my Sharina for his lance way back. <laughs> so now we have this banner, uh, citrine would be nice, but no green stones. I guess I sh I'll try for Alcris. Maybe I get him. Nope. Another Nana. I mean, Ike doesn't really trade away any of his <laughs> damage reduction, so the trade-off doesn't really exist there uh, with the Lagoose friend for him. So let's hope that I can get Legend Camilla. Yeah, I definitely am going to be summoning on the green stones. Oh my god, this game always displays the sickest of jokes on me. <laughs> Camilla just showing up like that. And Fallen Ike before that. I mean, I like Fallen Ike. I didn't really get his format. But I hope that his weapon refine is good enough. He is going to be next in line. Maybe his refine gets announced in a few hours from now. It could happen. Alright, so I'm not going to be going for the colorless stones. The green stones also give the merges for Sather. So she is part of my mythic core in Aether Raids. I'm going to summon Tethys here. Okay. I wanted to summon on the red stone, but I accidentally clicked on the colorless stone. And until I realized that I've misclicked, it was too late. It was just too late. Uh, yeah, Bluestone, I don't think I'm going to be summoning on them right now. The Young Banner could have some kind of good unit because Doomark was actually pretty impressive. And also Young Hector. Kane is, yeah, definitely nice for the Wings of Mercy. Um, I'm just hoping that I can get Ike here. I did get a couple of other Emblas. On the on the free to play count, and I'm just saving until her remix are fine, so that she can have better skills to give as fodder. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty good badge, close to the perfect badge I could want. The next question is by Melo Marianne, and they're asking thanks for all of your hard work with your videos, and hopefully you can have continued good summon luck. For question, if you could add a new divine vein terrain. What would it be and what unit you imagine it being on? So I would really, really like uh, the healing. Oh, I'm going to get Legend Camilla. Let's go. That's one of the top priority units. Uh, speaking of Divine Veins, I'm going to get one of the Divine Vein users from Engage. Plus attack as well. That's good. Oh my god. Now I just want to get Emblemike. Already, the free to play account is so much far ahead of the main account in terms of the um, five star summons. So I would say that I would definitely want the healing tile. Uh, maybe I would want uh, some kind of Ascended Mercedes who provides the healing, the glowing terrain basically, which heals you up. I would really like that. And I would also like a terrain which disables the pre-combat damage. So I would probably want, or, or at least has it because if you guys remember, at first, Faye had the true damage 
on many of the weapons, but it was capped for plus 7, like Carla and Flying Nino. And then they just make the pre-combat damage and don't really give it any kind of cap whatsoever, which is <laughs> just insane. So I would want a terrain that could half it. Um, I would probably want it on like Emblem Hector, honestly, as his Emblem effect. I would really like that, so that would help with the tanking. I think I'm gonna go with the green stones, even though I already got Camilla, because getting Sather would be pretty nice for the merges. And I already have plus 10 Regan and plus 10 Plumeria, so if I- wow, this is the perfect batch. This is the perfect watermelon batch. <laughs> so if I do get Sather merges, that would be good, because eventually I do want a plus in Merger as well, and have a full plus 30 core in Ether Raids. Asker is also someone I'm looking for the merges for, but a lot of the times the colorless color sharing is so bad that I don't want to commit to that. I'm just hoping I don't get Embla. I don't really have a pass on the free to play count, obviously, so can only spark. So I pretty much need to be lucky if I want to get the emblem hero. Alright, let's try with the redstone. Come on, Ike, you can show up. Another Hinata, okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's decent. The fact that I got Legend Camilla so easily is amazing. Uh, this batch was definitely not the perfect batch. Mart showing up. I did get two Emblem Marts, which is so amazing for the free-to-play count. At least I'm able to get plus one HP. Oh my god, what's up with this? Someone is erasing all of my... All of my red and green colors. It's happening. Okay, Priscilla showing up. I wouldn't mind getting Tina because she's such a evil unit to be used in Ether Raid's defense. I've definitely gotten caught off guard against Tina, so I wouldn't mind using her myself, honestly. <laughs> such a troll unit. Alright, the greenstone. Please say there. Okay. Chez, not the same character. It starts with the same letter. I wouldn't mind getting Legend of Alencia either. I already have her on the free to play count. I definitely got quite lucky with her. But. Okay, no redstones. Uh, I could try for the colorless. Safi would also be decent. Right? Uh. Already got the Fallen Ike. 25 summons. It cannot spark, so the summons really mean too much. Frog showing up. I at least want to be left with, I want to say, like 200 orbs. So I hope that I can get him in the 70 orbs that I have here. Or less than 70, that is. Because then I'll be able to save up for the young banner. And there's also a Legend of Lucina's banner happening in May, I believe. So she's gonna be getting a rerun. And I do wanna finish her on the free to play count. She's a plus seven merge. Harry showing up. Um, Green already gave me Legend Camilla. I'm actually surprised that they have, like, not pulled some kind of counter for the pre combat damage. It, has been quite a while with all of the pre-combat damage running around. At this point, I would have expected some kind of counter because we're not going to be realistically able to vote in that character in a hero rises. So, unexpected. That kind of thing. They don't really have any precedence for the bracelets though, so I'm not sure how fast Emblem Hector is going to be happening. Alright, two redstones. Okay, Salif. I really wish Salif was an emblem. <laughs> In engage, but unfortunately not. Selvia, okay. Um, another Camilla would also not be bad. She does have decent fodder. Oh, I'm gonna get a two Nino, let's go. Got another focus unit, and Nino is gonna be showing up. Alright, uh, she's definitely useful for Summoner Dual Test. Instantly she can, you know, charge up the AoE special and go ham. 
All right, so that's gonna be the end of my pity raid. Am I gonna be able to get Ike? I, I don't really mind getting uh, Nino and Camilla though. Camilla was definitely a unit I wanted. Get Orochi. 224 orbs. Three more summons to the non-existent uh, spark on the free-to-play account, but hoping that I can get him uh, just through the sheer luck. Now that I've summoned a two Nino and Legend Camilla, wouldn't mind getting Sather for the merge because this is a really, really good color share uh, for the green units. All right, one redstone. Uh, if we had the free to play, oh my god, Alencia showing up instead. No way. This could have been Ike. Plus defense. Ah, oh, this could have been Ike. Man. Let's hope that I can be more lucky and just get Ike here. Come on. That, that could have been Ike. Oh my god. If only I didn't pull Alencia before. All right, uh, almost there. Sophia showing up. Honestly, I did, got pretty lucky on the free-to-play count, so I can only complain. <laughs> Even though I got Alencia, that's still better than uh, Embla. It's definitely a bit sad for many of the Dark Mythics because they're not really as good anymore. Like even Embla and Medius, they've kind of fallen off, honestly. <laughs> All things considered, so we really need some kind of Dark Mythic. And Crosshair barely m makes any kind of blip on the map because like you just have damage reduction piercing on so many of the tanks. So her damage reduction is not really the, all that reliable. So I'm glad that I didn't really try and pull for her. Instead, I, I got Golvig. And she honestly is a lot better for the regular, uh, not the regular, the Etherate's Offense Chaos. All right, uh, definitely going bit over my budget but hopefully I'm hoping for some kind of lucky summon for our emblem Ike. He should be returning on a favorable color share hopefully but can only say much for the red and the colorless color shares because they're always gonna be having some annoying color shares. Fallen Marita plus speed okay yeah definitely gonna be building her up. Um so far, I've got all of the other focus units, so... Okay, can you please stop showing up, Merrick? I don't even have good fodder. And it's gonna be another two Nino. Oh my god, okay, let's go. That's a good summon. Minus attack. I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> That's amazing, okay. So, got another two Nino. This is the batch where I get Emblem Ike, hopefully. Yes. Four redstones. Where else am I going to be getting Emblem Ike? If not for this one. So, trying for it. Nope. Laszlo. Should be trying the 12 o'clock. Actually, maybe this greenstone first. Just to get it out of the way, maybe. Already got... Uh, Good summons on the green stone. And it is gonna be Olivia. Okay, Ike surely has to be on this stone. Surely he is over there. Please. And it is gonna be Kent, okay. Uh Emma Mike definitely not showing up that easily. I think I sh I, I shouldn't really go below 100 because 100 is the sweet spot where I want my free-to-play orbs to be. Definitely spending a bit more uh, than I intended, but that's fine. Um, because Emblem Mike is going to be worth it if I get lucky. Miranda again showing up here. Really wish there was a better, like, blue color share. 134 orbs to go and 34 orbs to go for Ike. That's pretty much it. I don't think I can go even below that. So, bracing my luck for the cloth summon here because 99% of gamblers quit before making it big. 
Oh my god, that's definitely me on the meme right now. If I- Oh my god. Please. This has to be it. Two badges with four redstones. Maybe I could have Ike show up here. Lindsay also showed up here, so maybe this has got the juice. Nope. Map is showing up. I'll get the green stone out of the way, actually, first. And then... <laughs> okay, Camilla again showing up. Two redstones. Okay, please. And it is going to be fur. I really doubt Ike is hiding in that stone right there. I don't think he is. And it is going to be not Ike, Fee instead. I mean, that's some aerobatics fodder, so that's decent. And this is the final batch, the final batch. Okay. One redstone, Wonko, okay. Final cloud summon, and it is hopefully Emblem Ike. And it is going to be Sole instead, okay. Yeah, not getting Emblem Ike on the free to play count, but that's fine. Had an amazing luck. So definitely happy about that. I was able to get Legend Camilla, two Atuninos, and a Legend Alencia. That is absolutely amazing. So free to play count, uh, having good luck. Also was able to get a plus attack Fallen Nike. So that was a bit random, but uh, definitely pretty good summon. And I also got free Legend of Evil Lear out of the Hero Rises banner, which is insane when I'm not even pulling for that. So let me know in the comments how your summons went and hope you all enjoyed this video. You can click the link on your screen right now to check out my breakdown of Emblem Ike. And make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube set boxes are about as functional as the amount of Emblem Ikes on my free-to-play account. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.